Good morning, this is Sean Schlesinger with Silver Seas Yachts, here to look at a Maritimo M51. This is a 2019, we've just arrived in stock. We've got the cantilevered seating up top, it's an excellent place to ride when this boat's running. Hydraulic swim platform, it's a high-low. Stepping aboard, you have dual entries, either side of the boat. Nice little Aussie barbecue back here. Got access down here into this huge and massive locker room down here. Glendinning Cable Master, sight lines on your water tanks. Nice little ice box back here as well. Nice drain in it. You have storage on both sides of the boats. Huge walk arounds. Stepping inside, you got an aft galley with an island in it. Now this island comes equipped with a dishwasher. We've got a pull-out trash can in here as well. Quick flip of this lever, these doors open up. Opening up this entire area to the inside of the boat. Making your way through the galley, we have what's really unique to Marantino, this beautiful storage pantry here. We have a melee fridge, pretty well equipped right now. Melee freezer with ice maker. Melee four burner cooktop and convection oven, stainless steel sink, plenty of storage underneath as well. We have our TV over here that pulls out. Great sight lines when you're sitting around here. Got the shade down because the sun was coming in good yesterday. When you're sitting here, this is at eye height. This is your view. Stepping down four steps, we have our bunk room and our light switch. Off to our starboard here with washer dryer unit. My kangaroo. Moving forward, we have our guest head, a separate shower. Our VIP stateroom with ensuite door. Good access around here. Nice cedar line closet. Deep storage. Did the rosewood floors with ebony striping throughout this entire boat. There's full length mirrors. We have a master head here. Huge separate shower once again. Step down two steps into your full beam master stateroom. Now this is very unique. This is a shaft driven boat. It's a 50 foot boat with a full beam master. For them to incorporate that into here was quite a trick. You see a lot of full beam masters on the pod driven boats but nothing on the shaft driven boats in this size. TV pops up right there. There's no carpets in here which is really really nice. Maritima is known for their interior staircase. It's really nice in inclement weather. 
You don't have to go outside and on upstairs you go. You have a rear facing bench seat as you come up to the top of the stairs here. Twin Pompanoff helm chairs. We've got bench seating here that also converts into a pull out bed. Now, I spoke about this being a shaft driven boat. We upgraded the thrusters to hydraulic thrusters and added a ZF joystick control system to this boat. So you get all the joystick features you find on the pod, pod boats here on this boat. We've got the sunroof up here as well. Side opening windows so that when you want, you can make this flybridge nice and breezy. This rear window opens up all the way. Leading back to our cantilevered seating. Teak on the deck, feels good on the feet, with a cockpit fridge out here. Take a look at our open array radar up top. When you're running this boat with all these windows open, it's absolutely breezy up here and wonderful. And if it gets cold, you just shut everything right back up. We put a forward looking sonar unit on here. The twin 16 inch Garmin displays. You have a control for your thrusters as well. And auto rain sensing wind windshield wipers. Taking a peek down in our engine room, we added the sea deck to finish this up a little bit and make it easy on your feet. This boat has a pair of Volvo D11 670s in it. You've got sight lines on your fuel tank so you can actually have a visual read of what kind of fuel you have on the boat. Everything's laid out very, very simple. We got the coming zone and generator. A little fresh water tap to wash things down. You can take a look at this shaft angle. Very shallow. A lot of this comes from their racing technology and their offshore race boats. 